for the creatives, you know, I, I'm sure they're curious about your creative process in, in just writing a book. Like, do you show up every morning to write? Like, what is, how do you make sure that you're writing consistently? And do you have like a routine or a ritual? Yeah, thank you. That's a nice question. I think um, what I found is that, so through all the meditating, I've become much more aware of that feeling of creativity when it arises. So when I feel creativity come up, I jump on it. I'm just like, this is the time to write a bunch of stuff. And I'll produce like a bunch of little pieces. I'll produce some essays. And, you know, it might be that flow of creativity might come for like four days in a row. And I'll just like make a bunch of stuff. And then it may like, you know, it was interesting. So last week I actually ended up writing a bunch of stuff. This week I haven't really written anything. So what I have to make sure of is that I don't let that time period where I don't write anything, I don't let it really go for okay. two weeks, yeah. right? Like I, I have to, at some point, I just put my right. foot down, whether it's bad or good, I make myself right because it also feels like a muscle and it needs to keep that training going to be able to flow. So my writing style isn't like, you know, five pages every day. That to me feels too forced. More so it's like, riding the waves of creativity as they come and go. Okay. I love that. As a creative, I also agree. You have, to, when you feel the inspiration, you have to act on it. If you, cause usually I like in the past, I, I will like write a note. Oh, I'll come back to this later. And when you come back to it, you just, it's like, where's, I don't feel like writing about this anymore. <laughs> like, yep. It doesn't have the, it doesn't have the same sauce. It doesn't have that same energy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you just, you allow yourself to flow with that, but you don't let yourself not write for too long. Like it's a balance between flow and consistency. Yeah. And if I find that, you know, I'm not, you know, the four days of not writing, then I'm just like, like, you know, I've spent this whole week reading a lot. Like, I, I, you know, I, as opposed to like, you know, I'm always, I always have like meetings and things that I'm working on. So I'll do my meetings and whatnot, but, but I'll make sure to spend a lot of time reading when I'm not writing. Cause then it just like, you know, it keeps, it keeps that, keep feeding that creative yeah. outlet. Do you batch like specific writing days? Cause you said you have like, I'm sure you have life and meetings and all this other admin stuff to deal with. So what is that like? I end up doing a lot of writing on like Thursdays and Fridays. So like, like I know tomorrow I'm going to wake up and just like, I'm going to write something for my sub stack. Um, and I'm excited because I don't, I have no idea what I'm going to write. So I love those moments when like, I don't know uh -huh. what I'm going to write and I'm just going to sit in front of the laptop and just Figure like see what comes yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. And just like, and it's nice. I think those are some of the nicest moments. Cause like, it's just like whatever kind of intuitively wants to come out. So I end up batching the week. Like I have, you know, a lot of, cause I, I, um, I'm also part of, I'm a co-founder of a venture capital company and, uh, called Wisdom Ventures. So Tuesdays are, you know, they're, they're called venture capital Tuesdays is like what I call them. And I just have like mad wow. meetings for those days. And for Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm also building, um, my own startup that's relationship focused. Okay. Can you tell us any more about that? Yeah, sure. So it's called ready and, um, you ready is basically a, an evolved dating app. It's for people who want a serious relationship, but it's also for, for people who really care about their personal growth. So we've, I don't know, we've come to learn, especially people who are like in the wellness field and whatnot, that if you're able to develop your self-awareness, you're going to develop a deeper connection with yourself and with your partner. So that feels like it's something that's not really included mm, in other dating yeah. apps. So I want to bring, you know, people who want something serious and who also care about yeah. their growth and want a partner who cares about their growth together. Yeah. But we don't want to stop there. We also want to support the relationship because it's not the type of thing where like, okay, you might have a connection, but there are so many ups and downs in the process of getting to know each other. And even when you're an official couple or anything like that, there's so much more to learn about like, what are good ways to argue? What are good ways to you know, to improve your communication. Mm, I see. There's some personal growth tips on the platform. Yeah, totally. No, I like that. It is, I definitely see a need because it, it is true. Like when you're on this journey, you obviously want to meet someone who's also on the same journey. Yeah, I'm excited. And we've already, we opened up a wait list. So if anybody listening wants to join, they can go to ready, readyplatform.co and they can sign up to the wait list. Yeah. So with Wisdom Ventures and with this new startup, are you the one that, like, 
I guess, how do you get involved in these new projects? Are you initiating or do you just have like a lot of things that you want to do <laughs> outside of writing? Yeah, outside of writing, I you know, during when I was actually writing Clarity and Connection and finishing it, I remember during that time, I felt like I was like, something's missing. Like there's a whole part of my brain that I'm not really using. Oh. And I knew something was coming. And then I think a few, like maybe like four or five months after the book was done and maybe it wasn't released yet, but it was complete. Um, a friend of mine from, from the West coast, from Silicon Valley, he like, um, told me about his idea to start wisdom ventures. And when, when I heard about it, I was like, man, I want to help. I want to be a part of it. And, you know, I was one of the, the six co-founders and I'm just, I'm lucky that, you know, I ended up meeting him from this conference called wisdom 2.0 that Mm -hmm. he runs. His name's Soren Mm -hmm. Gordhammer and fantastic human being, but it's been really fun, you know, just being able to, because the whole point of Wisdom Ventures is to invest in companies that are going to try, going to serve people well, companies that are trying to design their products in a compassionate manner and that are keeping the well-being of the user in mind. So like, you know, if it's a new app or a new platform and they're taking in all your data and they have your attention, we want to make sure that they're not trying to make you more addictive and they're not trying to hurt you in any way because we've seen the harm that's done. Right, right. So it's like businesses that have like a conscious aspect to it. Yeah, they just, they want to help people and they don't want to hurt them. Nice. And then the for Ready, were you the one that started that? Yeah, that one came to me when I remember I got an email from, I think it was from these from this person from Singapore. And they told me that they went out to a party and at the party, they found someone else who followed my work. And they like, the two of them really hit it off. <laughs> you were their dating app. <laughs> I know. And that was like the first thing that kind of started, you know, turning the wheels. And then I had conversations with my friends and was hearing about their experiences on dating apps. And like, they either had terrible experiences or they had some like semi traumatizing experiences. So to me, it's like, okay, well, there's a bunch of, you know, these, these first generation, second generation dating apps, but we need to try to make something yeah. better, something that allows for authenticity to flow forward. And that brings in this idea of, you know, of reflection that you can actually grow because everybody wants someone who does yeah. the work, but there's no like visualization of how to do the work. So that's what Ready is trying to provide is like, not only can you see someone's picture, but you can also see how much time someone is spending reflecting on themselves and growing. Oh, really? How, how do you sh- show that on your profile on the app? Well, you're going to be able to, so on the app, before you can even see people that you can start chatting with, you have to answer a daily reflection question. Oh. So first you have to reflect and then you can, you know, get the opportunity to, you know, see if there's a spark with somebody. Are you saying like they, they get to read your daily reflection answers sort of thing? Or what do you mean? You can make some of them public if you want. It's like almost like your private journal. Like you can have, you know, you'll, you'll be like reflecting on yourself over a long period of time, but people will be able to see that you, you have a streak, you know, you've been reflecting for X number of days. Oh, that's so interesting. I'm so curious to see how this will turn out. I'll, I'll, I'll stay updated with it. 